It's been so long, it's been so long Cruising to the campsite, singing our song It's been so long, it's been so long We are the Airstream Nerds This is Jeff from Airstream Nerds Today I'm going to install and review the Level Mate Pro It's a cool little device it's going to allow us to level our camper without having to pull out the level. I can use my cell phone. This device goes inside the camper, mounted. I'm going to mount it behind the drawer between the beds. Pretty simple. It's got a battery inside. It, it's supposed to last for a good long while. It connects Bluetooth to your phone. It will allow you to real time see the levelness of your camper front to back side to side it actually sets it up in inches tells you how many inches you need to raise each wheel each corner I should say it's pretty cool setup is easy you're going to remove the four screws you're going to pull the cover you're going to set it aside you're going to download the app you're going to install the batteries in here you're going to install the battery you're going to install the software you're going to make sure your campers level you start the app you follow all the 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 play-by-play -play that comes up on the app and then we're going you're going to measure confirm that it's level and then you're good to go so i'm going to go ahead and set that up and I'll get back to you in a second so here's the inside it comes with a CR2032 battery, a couple of mounting screws. I'm just using a couple of drywall screws. I may use these. So you're supposed to put the battery in. So we'll put the battery in, we'll batten it back up. You can see the arrows in here tell you it's supposed to be mounted that way, so you know which way to orient the cover in case you're confused. All in all, it looks pretty simple. I decided to put it in the pantry, right up in the corner. I forgot there's no back on the on the back of the drawer over here. It's the aluminum scan, and while it would have worked just fine because it's on the inside aluminum scan, I just preferred not to put any holes in it. So I used the screws that supplied with it, and I just put it up here in the corner. It's out of the way. Um, I did install it level but um, you don't have to as it says so let me start that and see what we got so first thing it does is it connects to tries to connect to the device it connected pretty quick of course I'm standing right in here now it's time to set orientation and units you have a choice here of which way the labels face so if you put it on the side like the driver's side or the passenger side depending on which way the labels facing whether the labels label faces the front or the label faces the rear in my case the label faces the rear because that's the front and the label is facing behind me we're going to use inches and it is a towable vehicle hit the save button now I have to go and measure the width and the length. Now you're going to enter the width from the trailer from the outside to outside of the tires. So that'll be pretty easy. And I'll have to get Jenny to help me with the length. So we're going to do the center of the wheel to the jack. It's pretty easy. Tape measured up there. Then you're going to put the, the numbers in inches. I know it's probably hard to see but that's the factory comes 96 inches and 180 inches so we're gonna do that and then be right back so according to the directions when you hit save and then we hit set level and that means we've leveled it I used a, I used a level my normal spot I level left and right here on the sink and I level right front to back level on the front of the sink it matches with 
the threshold. It matches with the refrigerator. I've done it in a bunch of different places here, uh, so I'm happy with that. It tells we're about to set the vehicle level. Proceed, yes. Now we're done. And at that point, confirm the setup is complete. And here's what we got. You can save your hitch position. So, say um, you want you lift it up a certain level, it actually will allow you to raise it up a little bit in order to in order to like disconnect or whatever. So, I'm not going to do any of that right now. Right now, it's showing that the driver's side is level. So, on this particular vehicle, since it's a trailer. It, when I'm out of level, it's going to show a plus or minus here, a plus or minus on this side, depending on which side is, is higher than the other. Same thing with front to back. Okay, for my particular trailer, since it's a regular trailer, this is your main screen when you start it up. It's nice, it tells you the temperature, at least it tells you the temperature inside of your camper, or where it's the temperature of the, the device you put on. In order to set the hours before sleep, you hit the gear, which is your setup menu. You can go back in and change stuff. Hit the forward arrow, hit the forward arrow. Now here's where you can change the measurement resolution, so it can do it to a quarter of an inch. Select the operating side of the road. Since this is the U.S., we're on the right side. And then we can set the number of hours before sleep. All right, so near the screen, the one hour, the, the setting for one hour on here, the number of hours before sleep, is essentially the number of hours it stays working once it's woken up with your Bluetooth signal. So you open up the app, it connects to the LevelMate Pro, and then for the next hour, it's it'll stay on. And then it goes to sleep until you wake it again with the app. You can change that depending on how many how long it takes for you to park those kind of things so normally an hour is more than enough time to back to turn it on to back into a parking place or whatever and and it, at least get your vehicle level before you disconnect now one of the cool features on here now on the iOS app um, you'll use these arrows apparently on the Android app it doesn't it doesn't have the arrows you have to use your back button but so once you disconnect so you're, you've, you've pulled up to your campground, you've got this app open, you see you're at zero, you've got your wheel blocks or whatever you use to level your vehicle up, you see it's at zero, you raise the front end, you, you have it, you, get, you lift up the front using your, um, you know, you raise up the front and once you disconnect, you can save your hitch, posi hitch position. So when it's time to go, you can easily put it right back to where it was by looking at the app without having to back your vehicle up and then you know, eyeballing it. It's just a little little a quick feature. So every time you level it, you hit the save the hitch position and you know exactly where you need to put it to back back up, hook up to, to leave the next, the next day or the next week or at the end of the weekend or whatever. It's a cool little feature. I like that. We're heading to Florida this weekend. From Virginia here and I definitely am going to use this and I'll report back leave comments below this is a pretty neat app I've been wanting to put this on for a while this is Jeff from Airstream Nerds happy camping